Are you serious? Are you serious? I just received a secret file actually sent to me, and I'm not going to reveal, of course, the source, but I will be bringing forth the information from it in a video tomorrow. It has, it's very important information, and I will bring it forward tomorrow. Now, first, let's go to this. NASA spots more planets out of the solar system that may be like Earth. Earth has a few more near-twin planets outside our solar system, tantalizing possibilities in a search for the, what, extraterrestrial life? That is the words of NASA, and Fox News is reporting it. Well, you're not going to find any extraterrestrial life, but you may run into demon spirits and fallen angels and the prince of the power of the air, which is very biblical. Now, astronomers have announced Tuesday that depending on the definitions, they have confirmed three or four more planets that are about the same size as Earth and are in the not-too-hot, not-too-cold Goldilocks zone and may have liquid water. These planets are likely to be rocky like Earth and not gas giants or ice worlds. They get about the same heat from their star as we get from our sun, according to the latest results by NASA. Uh, but don't look for any flights there, of course. It's just way, way, way too far from our solar system as, it, as we know it right now. So anyway, these are some reports coming from NASA. Um... Of course, NASA doesn't want to talk about Planet X. NASA doesn't want to talk about the theory of Planet 7X and Gus Brazard. Uh, NASA doesn't really want to discuss the dwarf star. NASA wants to talk about distant worlds, the extraterrestrial, and things beyond our even ability to comprehend. But the things that are right in front of us seems to be what they avoid the most. And I can give you prime examples. Asteroids, they only report 10% of the one, uh, you know, only 10 out of 10% of the asteroids that nearly miss the Earth, or Earth and come very close to us. So we'll continue to monitor these things as we watch what comes forward from uh, NASA and other observatories out there of what's going on in the cosmos. I keep going back to David Wilkerson's prophecy and the book of Revelation, chapter 8, Revelation chapter 16. I keep looking at Isaiah 24 about signs in the heavens, about the earth reeling and rocking, about the fallen burning mountains that will crash into the earth, which is prophesied in the book of Revelation. I keep looking at what Jesus said. If you have a problem with anything else, look what Jesus said in Luke when he said there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing for fear of things coming upon the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the sign of the Son of Man coming with the power and great glory. And when you begin to see these things come to pass, then look up, lift up your head, for your redemption draweth nigh. I'm just going to give you an, uh, uh, just something I just can just now looked at this picture as I'm talking to you, and I see this face. Do you see that face right there? Right there. There's the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Just saying. And that's just been released, a picture taken from space. Now, let me say one more thing. Again, tomorrow I will reveal some new information sent to me from scientists who do not reveal who they are. And very, very, uh, uh, the reason they don't, folks, is 28 scientists have died mysteriously in the last 12 months. So they're, especially those that are studying some of these things that are coming upon the earth. So I'll continue to 
Keep an eye on these things. Get ready. Jesus is coming soon. Are you saved? It's time to get right with God. Don't miss today's live broadcast from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com.